Hey y'all, uh, welcome to my makeup desk and storage area. You can't see me, but my name is Ambie and I am a makeup collector and beauty enthusiast. And I'm also someone who really likes to organize and reorganize makeup and stuff like that. And last night I did a big reorganization of my eyeshadow palette drawers here. And after I did it, I thought, oh, what a missed opportunity. I'll show you. I did like an informal inventory of my palette collection. I did a mini declutter. Ended up with 93 in my collection. Oy, uh, that's a lot of money. Um, do I use most of those? Absolutely not. Um, there's some of them I'll probably never use again, but what can I say? I'm a little bit of a hoarder. But I did think it would be fun to still, I can show you my makeup organization and how I have my palettes stored in here. And uh, I do need to do a lip declutter, so we can uh, we can do that. So this obviously, <laughs> obviously is the top drawer of this drawer system that I have. The things in here are things that I use the most frequently or are favorites. So I have all my Viseart palettes up here, all my NARS palettes. Um, most of my Pat McGrath is in here. Almost all of my Charlotte Tilbury are in here. And then I have my big Huda palettes and a Nat some Denasha, Natasha Denona in here. I do keep some of these things stored in their boxes just to protect them, like the big Pat McGrath with the beautiful black cases. Um, I'd rather preserve those cases and keep them in these beautiful boxes so you still get to enjoy the packaging that way. And then moving on to drawer number two. Um, the, the, drawer number two is still really good stuff. I just, you know, you had to organize it some way or another. So all of my ColourPop palettes are in here. My nine pan Huda palettes. I have two Flower Beauty palettes. Man, they are so pretty. These Flower Beauty, I'm telling you, it's really nice, really nice stuff. Anastasia, I have the Sigma Corda Rosa palette down there. Eh, I really... I've seen some people do amazing things with that palette. It's really not for me. Um, Nabla, Odin's Eye, and most of my Makeup Revolution stuff is in here. And then a Dior, and then the uh, Charlotte Face Palette. The Instant Look of Love Palette. So this drawer system, I got several years ago from Michaels, and I only paid $80 for it. It was on sale. I mean, I like it very much. Um, in hindsight, I kind of wish I had saved up my money to buy the Alex system from Ikea, which is what I really wanted. But this does work. It just, um, the two bottom drawers are not in great shape, but I'll show you. Uh, anyway, here in the third drawer, uh, these are things that I really don't use that much or I don't use at all, but I'm keeping because I can't bring myself to get rid of them. Or, well, I, I should also say there's some, there's some good stuff in here that's just out of season because I love this palette. This Pat McGrath, I think it's Rose Decadence. It's really pretty. It's just not the time of year for me to want to wear it. Um, so yeah, it's all, all my Too Faced stuff is in here. I used to really love Too Faced. I would buy anything that Too Faced put out. But for a multitude of reasons, I just really i am not using that brand so much anymore. But there's sentimental value to some of this because I've had it for so long. And like the, their semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. This is one of the first palettes I really fell in love with when I got into makeup. And mm, I just can't part with it. It's just so pretty. But I, I can't really use it anymore. It's so old. All right, so the two bottom drawers both have the same problem. But the thing about these two bottom drawers is I don't really use them. See? They're kind of coming apart over here. I need to put some wood glue. So I use them for storing extra boxes and bags, some stuff that uh, I haven't opened up yet, but it's perfectly fine and will be used. And then a couple of old palettes, sentimental value again, um, that I really don't use anymore. And the one on the very bottom is even less interesting than that. So we're just gonna let that one slide. And so then I have my makeup desk. Let's look at this first because I'm not, well, I don't know. Let's see if we need to declutter anything. So my desk, it just has two drawers. 
I got this desk on Amazon, so I'm gonna readjust here. It was super cheap. It has held up uh, at least two moves, so it's still doing fine. So I have all my bronzers and blushes in here, mascaras, some lip press. I see a couple things that can definitely go like this. Little Climax mascara needs to go because it's old. What else? Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this Anastasia mascara. I had bought this mini version just to give it a try. And I really liked it the first time I used it. But the more I used it, the less I liked it. And it has kind of that hourglass shaped wand. Kind of like um, the Too Faced mascara. I, I do not like those wands. My lashes are just too short. It's a benefit from that. But I think everything else in here is going to stay. In the drawer on the right side, we have powders. And I have two of the Fenty powders up here. Because this one, uh, this one is almost finished. I've got some major pan happening. I am ready to finish this powder. I'm going to take it with me when I go on my trip for Thanksgiving next week and who knows maybe I'll finish it while I'm there and all of my highlighters all my uh my highlighters are my favorite part of my collection eyeliners in here a couple of sharpeners and some single shadows oh yeah I have a z palette somewhere in that other storage unit but I just really don't use singles very much I use this one this bobby brown bone a lot and I use these two Ambery colors from MAC and L'Oreal. Use them with some frequency, but not the other singles for some reason. Um, so here is my desk. I have my impressions mirror. I just kind of keep it out of the way when I'm not using it. Most of my brushes, I have a ton of brushes that are in the other room drying right now because I finally washed them. I have this random lotion I don't know I never use this but it's pretty and I like I like how it looks I guess that's why it's still sitting here I have a little fix plus I have my setting sprays here eyeshadow primer I'm a huge beach lover I collect seashells this is a lamp full of some of my seashells that I've collected and then I have this unit here this is where I keep all of my lip products and I got this from Target in, I guess, the summer of 2002. And I have used it ever since. I have always used it everywhere I have lived since then. As I was going into sophomore year of college at that time. And it's got some cool, uh, some, well, cool stuff to me. I'm a huge Star Wars lover. You probably know that if you follow me on Instagram. As I reference it pretty frequently. So I keep an image of my all-time favorite character, Luke Skywalker. And my sister made me this card with a bunch of stickers of things that I like. They have a big seashell. I like to use the big shells for storing things. Um, I have my Darth Vader earbuds in there. My little sister painted this box for me, I don't know, years and years and years ago. I just love it so much. And so I live in Charleston and we have a lot of alligators. And uh, my sister found this. It's that game from back in the day with the crocodile with the teeth. And we just like it. I know alligators and crocodiles aren't the same, but it's still fun. So this is where I keep all of my lip products. And there's definitely some stuff that needs to go. This is the drawer that I reach into the least. These are like liquid lipsticks. I really love the Patrick Ta lip cream formula, but I really hate those two shades on me they're beautiful shades they just don't work for me so i think i'm gonna take them to my mom when i go home for thanksgiving to see if she wants some let's see i'm gonna get rid of this liquid the lip is so old please excuse my fingers they're so dry um i have this purple Anastasia lipstick. I really don't like lip, liquid lipstick. I like the color of it, but I just don't use it. So get rid of that. And, uh, it's tough because I like 
I definitely am keeping the Tinted Love by Charlotte Tilbury. That is amazing. And I'm going to get rid, I think, of this Revlon matte lip color. I don't even know how long I've had it. I don't like matte liquid lipsticks. I don't know why I have any. Moving along. Let's see what we got. I say this drawer is just full of stuff that didn't really fit anywhere else. Um, yeah, this can go. I love these little lip balms from Fresh, but I've had it for a long time. Uh, okay, I think everything else can stay in there. This is all of my bullet, just traditional lipsticks. None of them are getting decluttered because I use them all and I love them all. Now, okay, so this is like uh, balms and shiny lipsticks and things like that. These are probably things that I use the most. Mm, this is gonna be tough though, because I have these Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Do you remember that collection? Uh, I collected everything from that collection. Ooh, so I've had those for a while now. I don't really use them anymore. As much as I liked that collection, I think I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get rid of all of those, which, it's kind of sad because I really did love them, but they have that, um, like a mint taste to them. I hate mint flavor lip products. Can't stand it. So let's see. Um, oh yeah, I'm keeping that for sure. Yeah, I think everything else in there is staying. Oh yeah, in this drawer I have some powder foundations. My Fenty Match Sticks. I don't really use those very much. Oof. I don't know. I think I'll keep them, but I am going to get rid of this Lancome powder foundation. I haven't used it in a really long time. The shade wasn't really great for me. All right, I got to move some of this out of the way. All right. This is my lip gloss drawer, which is probably my favorite, I, favorite lip item. Mmm. Some of this stuff has been in here for a long time. Let's see. I see some Too Faced glosses. Like I said, I don't really use Too Faced anymore. And this is a, one of the Sweet Peach glosses. So that's been, a, it's got to go. It's, it's too old. Um, okay, so these lip glosses are also by Too Faced. Oh, man, I love these glosses, though. Shoot. So this is from the Tutti Fruity line. Oh, so I have three of them. These glosses were amazing. They tasted terrible, but they are extremely long lasting, really pigmented, but they kind of had a metallic finish. That's not really for me. So I think I will say goodbye. Oh, kind of sucks. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I see this one I can go. This is old. So I think a Revlon gloss. Yeah, I right, think can go. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this one's got to go, too. This is an old Ulta gloss that I got years ago. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will tell you this. If you have never tried the Pat McGrath lip glosses, they are absolutely outstanding. They are amazing. They're some of the very best glosses I've ever tried. Tower 28, incredible glosses. But probably the biggest surprise is the NYX Butter Glosses. They are amazing, amazing. And I don't see anything else in here that's going, so I think everything else is safe. So I guess that's it. So, all right, pretty good little declutter here, and hopefully my mom can use those Patrick Taws because they're so beautiful. Well, y'all, thanks for uh, joining me, and um, see you soon. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Face Ambition, and... Take it easy.